Welcome to Minikun Tutorials. In this fifth part of my tutorials on strings, vectors, and data frames, we're going to look at how to convert a vector to a string of one element in R or R Studio. In the previous uh, parts or sessions of uh, my tutorials on strings, vectors, and data frames, we've actually done a lot. We looked at, for instance, how to write strings and how to, I mean, create vectors, you know, character vectors, data frames, numeric vectors. We've done a lot. We've moved forward, moved on to look at how to also convert uh, character strings or variables from numeric format to uh, character format or from character format to numeric format, from character format to factor or vice versa. We've also looked at how to use the code or to set the code argument or to use the code argument in read or table and read or CSV. We've also looked at how to, um, when importing data, of course, and we also looked at how to use the strings as factors argument in data frame or data dot frame or read or table or read dot CSV function. And now, as I'm telling you, we are going to look at how we can convert a vector to a string in R converting a character vector, for instance, into a string of one element. Okay, so in case you have missed these previous sessions and you are interested in, I mean, any of these uh, tutorials, you can just look right below in the description box or you check on my channel and you find a playlist for strings, vectors and data frames. You would find all these videos to watch. So let's go on. Okay, first of all, as the title goes, we are going to convert a vector to what? A string. So first of all, what is a vector? A vector is just a one-dimensional array of numbers. So or a set of numbers of either numbers or characters. So we can have less. So in our case, let's have a, let's write, let's say a character vector, you know, a character vector, in other words, a string vector, a vector that is composed of several strings. So we can say, for instance, um boy let's say names okay i don't know let me say should i say names i don't know let me i'm trying to get something knowledgeable i don't know let's say i don't know i just want to say a vector a vector that would, uh, would that would make sense if we try to combine it into a string a character vector for that for it for that matter okay for the meantime nothing knowledgeable comes to my head so i would just use anything let me let's say for instance names so we can just or let's just say a let's just say a is equal to um b so we have a vector a character vector for that matter so we write the strings let's say a is a concatenation of let's say uh, v c for instance so this is a string vector or if you want a character vector d sorry and m for instance okay so assuming we want to convert so this is a string vector or if you want it you can we could also call it a character vector if you want to uh, to to actually convert all the elements of uh, this particular uh, vector into a single string, such that you have, for instance, v c c m instead of v comma c, you know. So if you want to convert it into a single string, or in other words, it's a string of one element, we can simply do that by okay let's just call this one let's call it a string so we can use any object to name our string so let's call this a string and okay we say this string is equal to then we will use um the paste command okay so we use the paste i hope my if not let me zoom in case it's not clear so we use the paste command and here i would simply say paste 
you know into brackets then i will cite sorry i will cite the or i will just write the name of the vector that i want to paste into a, a, i mean a single uh, string or it's, it's into it i want to transform to a string of one element so i would say a here which is the name of my vector then i write comma and now i will use collapse you see by default r says collapse is equal to null but we will say collapse sorry collapse collapse is equal to and then we will put quotations like this when we put quotations like this we see that there's no space if you press space here what that means is that when you uh, collapse the i mean your your vector what that means is that the string will be composed of i mean like uh, uh, the different elements or the initial elements of the, the the of the vector although you after collapsing you take away the quotations and now you have only two quotations at the at each end of the the string but when you when you don't press the space bar let's do it and you see what will happen if i don't press the space bar between or if i don't separate the quotations the letters will be fused so let's do that let me execute without and you see how it will work so let's select this particular string if i should execute it watch what happens okay now that i've executed let's try to string here string if i hit enter you see what has happened you see that now vcm is, has now become a single string you see it r has actually what fused all the elements of our uh, our vector to form a single string so vccm let's assume we wanted it to separate the the distance to separate the letters so to do that we simply have to click in between the quotations and then we press the space bar so when i press the space bar as much as i press the space bar that's that would uh, that's why i say as much as i press the space bar i will be increasing the distance in between the letters so if i just press once it's okay let's leave it like this and let me execute this and you see what will happen now when i print the when i look at the data set or when i try to print the string you see that the letters are now separated so this is how we convert a vector into a string if you would do, if you would want for instance you can i don't know you, you can make your own examples for instance you can say school school for instance say school we write we are trying to make it create a second example school is equal to we concatenate for instance junior so sorry let me use the quotations okay so we have junior here as a string junior okay comma then we write high school high school high okay let's have high then i'll put comma and put also school okay so let's execute this vector and see what we will get so this is a vector and after which we collapse this vector into maybe a string okay that is perfect now let's assume we if i should press on if i should just write school here see that i have my my string here or what should i say my vector here now if i want to convert this vector into um uh, into a string by fusing all the elements of the vector 
all I have to re do is to repeat what we did earlier on the interruption. So all I have to do is to simply repeat what I was doing earlier on. I have to say what, let's say string, you could name it, or if you don't want to even fuse it, like if you don't want to give any object to it, you can write straight away, but I prefer giving it an object. So I would name it, for instance, uh, school, we could call it school once again, to be equal to, but this time around, it's either equal to or less than and six is the same thing, uh, and uh, dash. So this time around, we want to, uh, fuse everything into a string so we simply use the paste once again paste paste into brackets then we write the name of the object of our vector which is school okay or maybe to differentiate between this new school we can say school school you can just say school I don't know how I would, I would differentiate. Let's say just yes, <laughs> let's just say school. It's okay. School one. Okay. Let's just say uh, because I, I'm trying to differentiate to assign a different object to. I mean our vector our string instead of using the same school school it doesn't really matter but we can i just prefer changing it but okay let's let me change it. let's we can maintain it at school there's nothing wrong so i would say the name of the of the vector is what school now put comma and this time around uh i would put but just to prevent any kind of and for the benefit of the doubt let's abbreviate this one at school it's okay this way so I'll write school, which is the already the object that we use for our this thing. And then what will I do after school? I'm going to write uh, collapse once again. So we have to paste the vector, which is school. Then collapse is equal to. Then we would say as we did earlier on. So if I should, if I don't press the space bar and I just write this way, if I hit enter. And I come and write S H S C H for school. Let's see what happens. When I hit enter, you see that it's fused together. But if I had wanted to write this vector, and uh, I mean, if I had wanted to separate it, then what I, I was supposed to do is I was supposed to say school is equal to, then I will say paste into brackets. Then I would write what? um my vector which is school and after which i would say collapse is equal to what and i'll make sure i press the space bar to separate the quotations this way it will separate it for me now if i should say school sorry i think there is a problem under normal circumstances, it was supposed to. I think it probably I had to, I was supposed to maybe use a different name to prevent this kind of thing, you know. But let's let's restart. There's no problem. So let's call this one school, or maybe school in capital letters. Okay. So we will say school, for instance, is equal to paste. into bracket school comma collapse is equal to quotations then we make sure we separate the quotations now let's hit enter then now let's see s school this way see how now it's separated we have the junior high school being separated so this is how we convert a vector into a string our vector is school and we fuse it into one string which is junior high school thank you so much for watching and please remember to subscribe for more interesting tutorials like this on minimum tutorials